Hello YouTube Retro Chef here. <laughs> it is Sunday, it is quarter to six. Having a cup of tea. Had a busy weekend, a busy couple of weeks at work still. It is also <clears throat> it is also happy birthday because it is my one year anniversary of YouTube. So I've been doing this for a year now, talking to all you nutters, all you other crazy collectors. <laughs> Met some really good people. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it because I, I saw that Das Cajonas or Loras did a fairly good job of it. Um, but all the people who I've met have been great. Um, looking forward to meeting even more people in the next couple of years, you know. In the next couple of weeks, obviously next Saturday the 7th. Looks like we're going down to Play Nation Games with uh, Ocarina Fella Carl and um, Daz Corners of Loro. Hopefully a few other people. Um, yeah, first thing I want to say is, um, you know, the sad news today of uh, Paul Walker dying in that car crash, man. Uh, that's messed up. Um, I kind of grew up to Fast and Furious. I mean, I was in my you know, early 20s, 19, 20 when the first one came out. So, obviously, when I was into my car modding, I was obviously quite into those films. And uh, woke up this morning, about half six, with all the messages on Facebook, if it's saying he, he died, man. Um, yeah, he died in a Porsche, just like Ryan Dunn did from Jackass. I mean, uh, they said that when the police turned up, he he was dead on the scene. So, I hate to think how he, how he, uh, how he looked, because he must have been burnt to fuck, man. But, um, yeah, so, you know... My condolences go to all his family and all his friends. I mean, I don't know any of them, obviously. But, um, man, what a way to go. I think I have to watch some Fast and Furious for the next couple of nights to keep me back in the mood. Um, also, my brother looks just like Paul Walker. My older brother. My real brother. My blood brother. So, Paul, if you're watching, I'm definitely going to email Vin Diesel to get you in for the role. Because uh, you look just like Paul Walker. Um, right, so... I've been two weeks. I've been off, been off air, if you will. Um, I've re redone my my um, games room, I guess. Uh, I would take you for a tour, but it's not that kind of room to show you a tour. But um, I had to dig out all the Christmas lights. I'm sure as most fathers have done, or you know, geezers have got their house with their missus. So I had to pull the lights out. So I pulled all the lights out, and all the tree, and all the bits and pieces. I thought I might as well finish it off in here. So I managed to put another unit up, got another telly in here. My other little telly's still here, and the bigger telly, the, the broken ones, uh, I'll put it away in here, shed in a minute. We'll throw it out another time because it's, it's massive to do by yourself. I managed to sort all my bits and pieces out. Got a few bits up and around, you can't really see, but I've got a few more bits around and uh, just to make it a little bit more homely. Moved the, the actual room further down into the actual outhouse, into the shed, if you will. So I'm, not, I'm a bit further away from the door. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that, and I've been sorting all my bits and pieces out, and got some great pickups. Um, I don't know if they're as good as two pickups of these twin snakes and all that, but um, they're not far off, to be fair. It's a couple of them are, you know, stuck, stick out good games. But yeah, I've still got me, me beard. I'm going to shave it today. I know today's the 1st of December, but I'm going to shave it today. It's end of November, innit? Nice. This is the Mega Man I picked up, if you remember. A couple of weeks ago from uh, Computer Exchange. No. Yeah, Computer Exchange, my retro new one. Played it after. See, so, I don't know where to start. First thing I'm going to do is start with my uh, trade of a tube. Well, my buy off a tuber. So, Steve712, the legend that is Steve712, sold me two, Super, uh, sorry, two NES games. Um, but I've been looking for these for quite some time. Um, and, you know, well, I say I've been looking for them. I've always been watching them on eBay, and they always seem to go for silly money. So when he said he had them, and he only wanted a certain amount of money. He only wanted £20 for them, for the pair. I've ripped his hand off. So for £20, so Steve, you're an absolute legend. I've got Mega Man 2, which I love, absolutely love Mega Man. And Super Mario Brothers 2. So Steve, thank you very much. Uh, great little YouTuber. Um, he's going along steadily, you know, he's building up, he's got quite a few subs, he's got quite a few views, everyone's getting to know him, so uh, Steve, 
Thank you. Now, I've got massive gum trees here. Uh, I've got a few CEX, one game, as in as in game shop, uh, eBay, and cash converters. So let's do my one one purchase I bought from game, the shop game. If you follow me, um, I think it was Rob Tino Triple Seven. Hope you well. Should I should stop doing that because uh, I know it's two. He likes to mug me off every time I do something there. So I'm gonna stop doing this. Hello, malarkey. I'll leave it to the end. Shall I? Two. <laughs> um, we had a bit of banter actually. I've sent him a, a funny text to a few of you um, about um, a sixty-something-inch television. So if you know what I'm talking about, if you've got the message. But two, but two. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to being on Crime Watch soon. Uh, as well as being on your uh, channel quite a lot, so it's a good thanks for the mention, mate. I mean, it only brings the subs up even more, I guess. So Rob, Rob uh, Tino Triple Seven, uh, been talking about this game. I mentioned he mentioned it a couple, couple of months ago now, and uh, when I was in game, just looking around at all the people buying the PS3s and the Xbox Ones, sorry, the PS4s and the Xbox Ones. Um, they had a two for free or three for two buy, whatever it was, and uh, all rubbish games except for a couple, but. Most of them I've got, but this one game uh, I picked up. This is great. I recommend anyone who's got a DS go and get this game. This game is it's, it's a tough game, but it's a great game. And as Alien Infestation or Infestation, sorry, great game. I, I mean, I haven't put my DS down to be fair. This is top draw. Um, just a little noises, the gun, the, the, the noise of the guns and whatnot, and um, the noise of the aliens. Yeah, it's just wicked. So recommend getting this, I paid £5 for that, or £4.99 um, and I've seen it go for way more, so Alien Infestation, very good game, please collect that um, I'll do... I'll do... what should I do here? Oh yeah, I'll do, I'll do these two My local cash convert used to be shit hot. I used to get loads of uh, retro stuff in there and, all, and new stuff and all, you know, all sorts in there, but recently they sold all the way off Speaking to the manager, they're not taking any more in. They're only going to sell like PS3, Xbox 360, and newer stuff. So I was like, okay. So they had this, they have sent everything for near, literally 99p. Um, but mostly everything I had, barring these two games, well, I've got one of them, but the other one I picked up because it was 99p. So the first game I needed was Dragon Ball Z Bodokai 2. That's complete, that was 99p. The second one I picked up for a bit of trade fodder, if I'm honest, or you know, sell it or whatever. Um, Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. It's only got the it's got the points, which I'm, I guess are no good now. It's just got the points in the game, so there's no manual, which is a bit shit. But for 99p, I would not leave that for anyone else. So that's good. Um, let's do CEX. CEX recently for me, um, it's been really good. I've collected, I've collected quite a bit of retro stuff out of there. Uh, I've collected um, a few other newer stuff as well. Excuse me. Ooh. So I've, had a, I've had a mean curry with my mum and dad. Local one. Wicked. But anyway, it's another story. So yeah, so I got a load of credit recently from C. I took a load of PS2 stuff and they gave me, to be fair, quite a good exchange. I got about £70 out of them for, for, for a load of rubbish. But I went in there recently, over the last couple of, the last two weeks, been in there a couple of days, seeing what they've got. The only retro item I picked up really technically retro I guess, uh, is Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue on the N64. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but I've, I've, got, I've got a bit of a thing about Power Rangers recently, so I think that was £5, so that, I was quite happy with that. I picked up, also picked up for my daughter, because she was with me one of the days, Monster House, which I love the cartoon, so I bought it again, that was only £2. This game I saw on the shelf, uh, I really like this game. I mean, I don't know about everyone else, and I know it, it can go, it can fetch a few quid on eBay. So I think it was, I think it was like six quid or eight quid. Um, and it's a, I would say, I think it's a good game. And when I saw it on the shelf, I grabbed it. It's Forbidden Siren 2. It's complete. It's in lovely condition. So I was well chuffed for that. The last one, I'm throwing stuff now. The last one I picked up uh, again was on the shelf, and I, I, I went past it the first time because I thought I, I didn't really clock, but. Um, 
It's Pokemon Coliseum. And I think this I think this was eight quid or six quid. Alan got the manual, which is a bit of a shit up. Put the points in there, which is no good. It hasn't got the memory cards, again, which is no good. But I wasn't gonna leave it there. I haven't actually got it, so I thought that'd be that's a good little one. And then when I was in there, um, it's not often you see in my this local my local CX that they have um, special editions of certain games, I like the big boxes with all the bits and pieces. Um, I picked up two, two PS3 ones. Um, they were cheap, so I thought I'd take them. Well, for £6, I got the Avatar with the Jake Sully figure. You can't really see it now, I'm not going to go too close, you might not be able to see. Jake Sully figure and the game with the, all the downloadable contents already on there because I tried it. Um, I mean, another game's not all that good, but for six pound, I thought I'd have that. You know, it's quite good. So I was chuffed with that. The next one, um, don't know about other people, but I love this this game series. I love it on any console. You know, GameCube, Dreamcast, uh, PS2, PS3, all that. This is a special edition for this game. Uh, and best thing of all, it's got Ezio Auditori Forenzi, whatever his bloody name is. And that is Soul Calibur, the collector's edition. So I'm sure there's been an unboxing of this before, but literally, it's like a big old book. If I've opened it right here. So yeah, Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur 5. It's got, inside it's got the game, the, I think it's the making of the game, the music, a load of artwork and a letter saying thank you for buying the game sort of thing. So yeah, and that was a tenner. So again, I wasn't gonna leave that there. So for 10 pound, Soul Calibur 5, the collector's edition. So again, another bargain. So that's all me CEX and, and computer exchange. Computer exchange? Yeah, computer exchange. Now I'm going to go on to eBay. Picked up some good titles on eBay the, the last two weeks. A um, couple of these were last minute auctions. While I watched for a little while when no one bid on it and I, I got a bit worried because when um, I bought the item, I bought it from Austria. I can't read Austrian, so I couldn't really read what it was saying. When I when I when I bought the game and I've translated it, it works out alright for me, but I'll tell you that in a second. So for 99p, um last minute bid, I got it. I got Batman or the Future of Return of the Joker on Game Boy Colour. Just a cart, 99p, I think it was one pound twenty to send or something like, or something like that. It's yeah, it's not that good really to be fair, but for 99p I thought I'd have that. The next one, <clears throat> again I haven't seen this, I didn't even know this was on the PS2. Um, I got this for £1.50 and again I thought it was a great deal uh, the seller messaged me, told me the game was a bit scratched but on playing it and checking it out it's not really that it's not no scratches at all really to be fair to it uh, £1.50, uh, £3 to send it so £4.50 I got R-Type, Final R-Type this is a great game um, and I, I've never really seen this around so when I saw an eBay I took that that was great the next one I bought this from Tenerife, Spain. Um, it just the whole situation with this, the box, everything. Just uh, my alarm bells are ringing. This looked like a like a snide fake. But for the price I got it, I was yeah. You know, I thought you know what reproduction cars will think I take it. So for ten euros, I got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Defiant Edition. Now this game can fetch loads of loads and loads of money. Now the box, you can tell, it's a, this is a Japanese box, the shape of it. But every, all the text is in English, and on the back it says made in Mexico. So, <laughs> it's all over the place. But, when you open it, <clears throat> it's got a manual, which is all like, photocopied. I, mean, you, I don't know if you can really, hang on, see if I can, I don't know if you can see. The, the quality is really bad. So I was like, oh, I bought, you know, I bought reproduction cars, you know, I was like, oh, you know, da, da, da. But when you actually get to the cart, and you actually open it, it's all legit. So, I'm not sure what's happened here. Because all the motherboards, all legit, it's not dodgy, it's got Nintendo on it, um, but it's just the box and everything. So I think I've got a real game, but with a reproduction box, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, either way, for 10 euros, Mind Wolf and Power Rangers Fight Edition. This is a really good game. So I've chuffed his asses with that. Let's see if I can put this away without making a mess. 
I won't put it fully away, I'll leave it there for now. The last two games, I was so chuffed to get one of them. My brother's going to say he's going to go mad. These two games I got from Austria, from Austrian eBay, um, I paid 30 euros all in, including getting sent and getting the games. Now, one of the games can fetch about 100 quid. 80 quid, 100 quid, 70 quid, just a cart. Sometimes, you, I've seen it go for 30 quid before, but I haven't been on it. I've been like, I've got home and I've missed it or something stupid. You know what it's like. So anyway, the first game I got off, off this e bag, he had two games I wanted, so I thought I might as well bundle the two together to get the combined postage. So one is Mind Morphing Power Rangers the movie, just a cart. This is this is really good. This is really good game. I mean, I know it's sad, it's Power Rangers, but it's a really good game. So that that was great. Second one is Blackhawk. Blackhawk, Blackthorn, I think it's known as well. This game is great. It's just like Flashback. I think it's just like Flashback, if you follow me. The way the, 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 the arcade, the actual, um, sorry, mechanics of the game is. Um, so for 30 euros, 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 <laughs> 26 quid, 27 quid? I think I've got, it's Power Rangers, both of them, uh, and uh, postage. I was worried because it, he read so much text, and when I translated, it was just, waffle about the games but I was worried that this was a reproduction cart but again it's not it's all stamps all legit I've opened them up to check and it's all in there all the, you know and obviously in Paris as well so um, that's all my eBay um, rest is all Gumtree now just looking at it all so the next couple of bits I'm going to say what are up for trades as well as I bought them, but I bought them as a bundle, but some of the games I've already got. <clears throat> Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon I'm at work, I'm finishing late, so waiting around for a few people to finish up what they're doing at work. I'm on Gumtree and I'm looking up um, Nintendo, you know, Super NES, Sega, whatever. And pops up, one thing pops up, £30, five games, popular. Which is around the corner from Excel, where I work, so it's not, well, it's not that far. So, I didn't even, I didn't even argue with the geezer. Just said to him, yep, I have them. So I went around and I picked them up after work. So, the first three games I need, but the rest are up for trade, possibly sale, because I know one of them fetches a few quid, so I might... I might bung it on eBay or sell it to someone if someone wants it. Just you know, extra money. You know, it's Christmas time. There's a few things I need to pay for on PayPal. I'm winning probably tonight. So it all ends up being good. So, Killer Instinct, which I need. Pilot Wings, which I also need. Earthworm Gym 2, which I also need. Then the last two, Star Wing, I don't need. So maybe someone wants to trade it or... Um, buy it or whatever and the last one Super Metroid so when I saw that I thought no matter what happens I'll have the, the bundle anyway because I need three of the games you know I know that can fetch 20, 30, 40 quid 50 quid I've seen it's all different prices so if someone wants that I'd rather do cash for that really uh, saves me messing around in my bank I can just put the money straight into my PayPal from you and I can pay for my I think I've got three or four games tonight finishing uh, which are about 30 40 pounds, so yeah, let me know if anyone wants after that. Um, so that all that bundle was 30 quid, I paid for that, so it's a touch, right? The next one, the next game I got here, yeah, I got three games. I mentioned it before the other week, and I, I didn't get to collect it till now because the geezer was messing me about it. Three PS3 games, which was three PS3 games and a uh. <gasps> Some terrible wind. It was a PS3 stand with fans in lights up blue, cooling fan thing for 15 quid. So I got Grand Theft Auto 4, some rugby game, and I got Last of Us. Now Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, I already took the CEX because I was getting this. I thought I'd just take it. And the rugby game I took CEX. I got a tenner for that, for them exchange. And this is, I think, Last of Us still goes for 20 quid. So that, you know, already I've made my money. And the blue stand I kept. So you know. £15, I was well chuffed for that. Uh, where should I go next? 
I leave the I think the best one to last let's say that so the next one um, <clears throat> going through Gumtree I was off on Friday so Thursday night I was checking Gumtree um, see what PlayStation stuff and you know Xbox bits and pieces and that and there was an ad from a lady saying she's got I think 27 PS2 games for 40 quid and then same person also put a link saying Xbox games for sale as well. So I found the other one and I think she had was it three, six, nine, about 25 Xbox games. She wanted 30 quid. So I messaged her. So she's 70 pounds on all she wanted. So I messaged the person. I said, look, I said, I'll give you, you know, I'll sign off loan. I said, I'll give you 30 pounds for all of them because some of the games in them I need anyway. And some are really good. So I was like, you know, um, I'll give you 30 pounds for the lot. She said 50, so I was like, that's all right, we're coming down the right way. And I said, nah, I'll give you 40. She goes, oh, I'm eating in the middle of 45. So I was like, no problem. So 45 pound, um, I'm going to do the Xbox one. So, so the first set I want to show you now, I've already got. So if anyone wants any of these, because I hope it's low, for, I know I messaged you, but I haven't seen you in your pictures, because I thought I might as well show you. No, you watched the video. So anyone wants any of these, these are all complete. They're in immaculate condition. They're like never been played on, I think. So Jade Empire, which I, which I think is a really good game, really underrated game. Great game. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. If you haven't got that, that's a must on the Xbox. Halo. Fable. Oddworld's Munchies of Odyssey. Halo 2. Core of Cthulhu, Cthulhu, whatever. That's a good game as well, that's underrated, I think, or a gem, if you will. Hover's Loaf, I know you wanted this one, so if you want it, mate, you got it. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath, or Wraith Wrath. The next ones I need, so I'm keeping this next bundle, so, sorry, gents. Star Wars Jedi, uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Tim Burns Nightmare Before Christmas, Oggy's Revenge. I know it's a good game. <clears throat> um, Dark Watch. Dark Watch, yep. Worms 3D. Destroy All Humans. I think I've got it on a PS2 actually. Parelia? I can't even read. Whatever that is. <laughs> Worms 4 Mayhem. Unreal Championship. Uh, Bomb Rule Championship 2 Landry Cup Conflict or something, whatever that is. Star Wars Knights of Republic 2 and Dark Alliance Ladders Gate 2. That's all the Xbox ones. So the first set I needed, so any of them, sorry, the last set I needed. So the first ones, if anyone wants any, uh, message me, we trade or you can buy them, whatever you want to do. The PS2, some good PS2 titles. Uh, and these ones, I don't need any of these, so these are up for trade or sale, whatever. And these are all complete. Onimushu Dawn of Dreams, that's a good game. Soul Reaver 2, again, I think that's a good game. State of Emergency, probably one of the first games I've got on the PS2. Mark of Kai, good game. Onimushu 3. Orny Musha. Forward Beast. Now that's a good game. I've got this already, unlucky. Because I would have kept that. But yeah, no, I, I think that's a good one. Uh, Psyops. Mind Gate Conspiracy. Gun. Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Kill Zone. Max Payne 2. Giant Sin of Kaboot, which I got from Evo Hella, so I don't need that one. Red Faction 2. The Awesome Manhunt. Don't fall, don't fall. And Transformers. So all that bundle there, I don't need. Now this bundle, I do need. So, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. 
Godfather limited edition 2 disc set. I haven't got that one, so that's a touch. Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior, sorry. Time Splitters Future Perfect. I don't think I've got that. Actually. Summoner 2. Prince of Persia, uh, the two thrones. Headhunter Remdition, or Remdition. Blood Rain 2. Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. David Armour Game Geek, don't worry about sending it, mate, because I've already got it now. Champions of Norath, or Noroth. I know he was going to send that fella, so don't worry, I've got it now. Champions Return to Arms, another great game. And the last one is Jack Free. So I've got all those PS2 and PS sorry. All those PS2 and Xbox well Xbox original, sorry, for £45. So I was well happy with that. So the first set of Transformers, the first the first set of PS2 games are up for trade, and the first set of the Xbox uh, original games are up for trade. Anyone wants any of them?